Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today we'll be uh, playing some more Don't Starve. Uh, I'm gonna try this out. So I'm gonna be trying like to do a sort of like a let's play slash tutorial Don't Starve videos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put timestamps in the description of like where like important tips are. But if you want to watch it completely, I'll, I won't be skipping much of this. I'm just gonna be playing and saying tips at the same time. And so. The first thing, the first thing we have to do, is that we need to choose a character. And usually, uh, in the base game, you only start with Wilson. But here, because we're playing, um, don't start together. We get to choose from all the characters. And well, I'm just gonna be going robot. And we're gonna be starting off. You always start off at this uh, celestial portal. And what you want to do is first of all, always make sure your settings are all good. Okay, so here you you want to start just by collecting your resources, and making sure you have everything you need uh, for the early game. So I already explained this a little bit in my editor don't start video. You want to try to go around like the um, the coastline, try to map out the map so you know what uh, biomes are where. So now, like, if I look on my map here, well, I know that there's gonna be a river going upwards. So I would usually go try to on the first day at least get 30 grass, 30 sticks. That's a good uh, starting point. Um, this is gonna be the frog like pond biome, so I'm not gonna go there right away. I'm gonna try to go down and try to find a grassland normal biome. Because in the grassland normal biome, I'll have berries, I'll have grass, and I'll have or uh, normal resources for myself. Damn rabbits. Rabbits, we can trap those later with traps. I'll show you guys how to do that. So like I said, this is going to be a very like basic like beginner's like videos. Because there's some, there's still some people that are still getting like into this game and that don't necessarily um, like watch any videos yet. And I know there's tons of Don't Starve uh, YouTubers out there, but... It's been a while that uh, I haven't seen like a, a like let's say sort of a let's play. All the let's play people I see like big don't star people is um, they're all it's all their Twitch streams that they uh, that they put on their uh, channel. And so what I want to do is like a hybrid because I there's a lot of people doing tips and there's a lot of people just doing like huge streams on Twitch and then downloading their let's play on the uh, YouTube. And so what I want to do is that I want to mix out I want to mix a uh, tip video tips and tricks video and also like just playing the game in general and so if you guys like this just leave a like down below and leave a comment because if you guys like this I'll continue doing these kind of videos um, and yeah so you see here I'm just collecting the grass well here this is funny so this is a big savanna and this is like these are the grass sand uh, biomes I was talking about that you can collect resources from you can collect these um, you can collect grass twigs flint, berries, carrots, all of this is found in these normal grasslands. So what you want to do, you usually always start next to one. You always want to start collecting them at the beginning to try to get these uh, resources up. Down here you have your um, ta like your bar, your uh, your inventory. What you want to do is try to organize it when, when you have the chance. What you want to do is have your twigs and grass. I put them on the right so it's easy to see. And usually I put my tools to the left and the rest you can pretty much organize it in the middle. And also, uh, for people, this is a really basic tip. For people that don't know, you can click or you can also use WASD to walk and move around. And you can press space bar for auto collecting. So if you press space bar next to a sapling, you'll collect it instead of having to click on it. Okay, now, you see here I've explored pretty much a good area of the middle. Now this is the dark forest, so I'll just go up here. This is probably going to be a dead end, just to make sure though, I'm going to go up here. Ah, you see, on the other side there's some grassland. This might be, yeah, this looks like a normal grassland. And yeah, that's that's a dead end, that, that's for sure. So we're going to go down here and we're going to try to go around this river and head to that grassland. Now these lumpy trees aren't going to give us pine cones, so we don't really want to chop them down right away. Because usually when you chop trees down, you want to get 
pine cones so that you can set it down at your base, the pine cones. But these ones won't even give you pine cones, so I'm just not going to even chop those right away. And anyway, on the first night, you need a light source. So I'm just going to go with the basic torch instead of camping down. Because when you camp down, you won't be able to... Um, you won't be able to move around and you want to move around when you explore so that's why I'm going to be going with the torch because with the torch I'm going to be able to move around I'm going to be able to explore the areas that I want faster because it's all about time you want to do everything you can before winter hits winter hits on day 21 why? well winter winter um, well autumn lasts 20 days and so the first day of winter is on day 21 and winter and summer last 15 days Spring and summer last uh, spring and autumn last 20 days, and so what that means is that you're gonna have a longer period of time in autumn and spring to do everything you want, and in winter and summer you'll be stuck more at your base. Anyway, so on day 21 we're gonna want to be prepared. That means we're gonna want to have our base set up for day 21. We're gonna have our resources set up. We're gonna have a good food supply. We're gonna have our fridge, alchemy engine, and all that stuff. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do all of that. Now, um, we still haven't found this. So as you see, look, this is pretty simple. You can predict where this is going. You just want to go up. You want to go up from there. So that grassland biome, we'll leave it there. This is our big grassland biome where we can get all our resources. Because as you can see here, it's all of this. So I'm just going to continue getting flint for tools, berries for food, and my basic resources. I usually go up to 40 because after 40, it's... Um, after 40, it's not that good because you're using other of these slots. Because each slot in the early game is very important. So you want to make sure not to have just like 5 grass in your inventory for no reason. Because you want to um, you want to save those slots for other things. Now, I'm, I'm doing this guide for mostly new players. Maybe some intermediate players will learn a couple things or two. Uh, oh boy, look, I, I just said I don't want to... No, this is fine. This is going to be my torch. It's fine. And so, yeah, what I was saying is um, maybe you're a new player, maybe you you already know the game and all that. What I'm going to be doing is I'm not going to be doing a rune rush right away. This, I'm not doing this for pro players. I'm not doing this for intermediate players. I'm not doing this for the best way to optimize how you should play. I'm just doing this for the new players that are trying to learn the game and that want, like, a basic experience just to start off with and then can go watch more uh, advanced players that uh, know better. No better for late game strats for uh, pro player strats. Okay, now I have four grass, which is not ideal because this. Okay, so there you go. So what you want to do is you want to build your torch. Now your torch should last the first night. If you really want a good trick to keep it and you don't care about losing sanity, you can always do this trick where you wait until you hear the creature and then you reactivate your torch. But this is very dangerous. I would be very careful about using this. If you just want to keep your torch in your hand, that's fine. It's just two grass and two twigs, and you can always collect more. And you can see here, I've been collecting more, even though I said I wanted to cap it out. These are just going to be torches, pretty much. I'm, that's why I'm collecting them more. And now, instead of being stuck at my campfire, I can just walk around and continue exploring. And that's what's the advantage of using your torch early game. And you're not going to be cold, you're not going to be hot, because this is autumn, and autumn, there's no downsides to autumn. The only downside, well, like, inconvenience... In autumn, later on, on your second autumn, is that there's going to be a bear dude that's going to spawn, and that hounds are going to be fire hounds. But apart from that, it's not bad. There you go, day two. So now you want to disequip your torch. Um, these saplings I've been collecting. So now I, you see I have a nice base resources. So, uh, oh, right here, this is a portal. You can use this. When you use the portal, you lose 15 sanity. And when you lose that 15 sanity, uh, it's every time you go through it. So if I go in it and then out, it's gonna, I'm going to lose 30 sanity. If you want to gain early uh, sanity, because if, if you don't like... Because if you go insane, you're going to be uh, attacked by shadow creatures. Just the creatures are going to start to steal your fire at night. So if you want to just not have to deal with all of that, make sure to have um, high sanity. High sanity, you can pick flowers. Uh, you can uh, do all kinds of stuff for that. You can pick flowers. You can eat cooked cactus. But be careful. Cactus, you see, so we found our desert. And with a, this is the kind of um, cactus that you find for the dragonfly desert. Dragonfly is the uh, a big dragonfly boss. 
which defends this desert. It's a giant fly that flies in the air. And he defends this desert. You can still... This is a, still a great desert to explore get resources from. Because there's tumbleweeds. There's these cactus that you can collect. But be careful, they do damage you. So I suggest that you um, use armor to collect it. And we'll be talking about armor later. But you can build armor in this uh, armor tab. Okay, so right here, we have uh, a set piece. A set piece is a randomly... Well, not a randomly generated. It's a, it's a, it's a set piece is a generated, like... Uh, set that's already prepared in advance that you can find in your world so it's like a there's like a list of like stuff that you can like spawn in your world and there's a certain amount of, of things that will be spawning in so some of them could be like a circle of hounds with a um, fire staff in the middle or it can be a hound mound which we just found which is tons of spawning spawners of uh, hounds hounds are these like the dog creatures these dog creatures come every ab so uh, like seven to ten days in the early game, and they come faster and faster um, once the game progresses. And so, in this desert, you can find hound mounds, which spawn these hounds. And what we were we were lucky, we found this uh, set piece. You can see there's tons of spawners here. So we were lucky because we can just later on we could just send a boss there to clear it out, like Derek Lops or Berger. He'll clear out all those things and we'll get the rocks. Or if you want to keep the spawners there, you can just go one by one. Destroy at least three out of four of them or maybe even more if you guys want. And you can set up a nice farm there for uh, monster meat. Okay, now these are tumbleweeds like I was saying. You can only found this, find this in this biome. This desert, the dragonfly desert. What you can find in this desert... Uh, in these tumbleweeds, you can find uh, pretty much anything. You can find a lot of stuff in here. You can find gems, feathers, grass, twigs. Usually you're going to find grass and twigs, but you can find gears in here. Gears are very useful because you're going to need them for anti-fire during summer, and you're also going to need them for a fridge. And because I'm playing the robot, I'm going to need them. I'm going to need it for um, gears so I can upgrade. Because this is my so this is what the robot does. You can upgrade with gears. So this is why I'm collecting all of this, is because I'm probably going to be making a backpack soon. So I'm going to be going for double stack. Even though I said earlier I only want to go one stack of each, uh, I feel confident enough for going for two stacks each because I found this early desert. And because I'm going to be building a backpack soon. How do you build a backpack? Well, you need a science machine. How do you get the science machine? You need gold. Gold can be pretty much found in a, multiple places. Oh, there you go, a gear. You can find gold um, in this biome right here, where we are in the desert. We can find it in the mosaic biome, which is like a mess of like different like turfs. Turfs is the land, that, the, the ground that we're stepping on. And so you can find rocks there. You can also find rocks in the rock biome, which is a rocky lands biome, which is very useful because you can get a lot of rocks. But also the turf, that you like the grayish turf that you can find there, can be used for making roads. Because yes, you can make turf in this game. So you can like make your own base style like the way you want it. Now we're starting to get hungry, so we're just gonna be eating all of our berries. Eat all of those right up. There we go, very nice. Night so we're gonna just collect this last tumbleweed and we're gonna have look at this. This is great for resources. Just great. So we're gonna continue on. You see, this is a, a gold mount, but here there's a hound nearby. Yep, there's a hound right here. So we're just going to leave this be. We're going to go find some gold somewhere else. But if you find gold in your game, just collect it when you can, if it's not dangerous. Because gold, you're always going to want some. And rocks, you're going to want some in flint. Rocks are very useful in this game. A lot of structures require rocks. And so I always suggest going for rocks. Um, if you go in your option menu, the settings... The controls, you see there's a force attack. I put it on G. So when I, I click uh, G and F, because I put my uh, my buttons here, look. I put attack on F and force attack on G. And so when you want to attack a mob like a butterfly, or a mob that's neutral towards you, and that's hard to click on, or if you just want to fight stuff like bees, if you F, G it, you're able to attack it. And if you just F, you're able to attack it. 
FG is for neutral mobs, F is just for a mob that's already aggro on. And that's a, those are my presets, but those are not the presets. You have to change those manually. There's a different preset. I think it, I don't know which buttons there, but there's other buttons. And so that's how you get to get butterflies. Because butterflies is a great source of health. And so if you manage to get um, to see a butterfly, go right over its head and press F, uh, G, and F. Because um, if not, it's gonna run away, and they run faster than you. Because the motion. That it takes for you to attack it. If you just spam the two buttons, you will never catch a butterfly. What you have to do is really go next to it and then click it, or um, be right on it. Now we found this swamp. This is the uh, purplish terrain where you can find merms and tentacles. This is a very dangerous spot for early and new, and new players because these tentacles hide under the ground and they pop out when you walk on them or when you're close to them. These tentacles right here. So you have to be very careful for them. And now I'm playing a very dangerous game. Whoa! Okay, so we found this. So this this, this is defended by um, tentacles. That's why there were so many next to me. So these merms are fighting the tentacles. So we're just going to let them do that and continue exploring here. Oh, we got to be careful. There's one right here. We're going to continue exploring, like I said, the coastline. You want to make sure that coastline is very well discovered. So that you know exactly where the biomes end. We're going to continue exploring. Uh, reeves are good for a bird trap. And I'll be explaining what bird traps do later when we build one. But try to get at least 8 reeves if you can. That's the minimum. And 8 reeves is going to be to make a uh, bird cage with. So when you stop in the swamp, make sure you're safe. Because you never know what can pop out. Okay, so... Um... The swamp is made on the large, but you can see here there's like a there's, this is the bee biome where there's tons of bees and killer bees. The killer bees are the red one, and the normal bees are these ones. So we're gonna want to be careful when we go up there because we're gonna want to explore up there. Now, what did I find on the ground earlier in the dark? I found a beefalo hat, which is the best hat for winter. I found a uh, tree wool, which can be made to make uh, clothing, and I also found a spear. Spear is the basic like fighting weapon. So if you ever want to make a spear, well, you need a science machine for it, and you can. Um, it takes one rope that you can use in the refining tab that we don't have yet. Rope is easy; it's only tree uh, grass, and one flint and two sticks. So it's pretty basic a uh, recipe. Okay, so I pretty much already explored all of that. I'm missing four more reeds, so I'm just gonna go out of my way here and uh, get these four right here. Oh, there you go. He's, oh, look at that guy. Yeah, tentacles hurt really m a lot because what they do is that if they get to hit you once, they're probably going to hit you a second time because they can stun lock you for one for that first hit. And so what happens is that when you get hit for the first time, then they're going to hit you a second time, and that's going to do a lot of damage for your health. Because in the early game, you won't, you don't have armor, so you have to really be careful for your health because a lot of stuff in this game does a lot of damage, and so you want to really be careful of what can happen because. Just these uh, tentacles can hurt a lot. But if you kill those tentacles, if you manage to let the merms kill the tentacles, or you kill the tentacle, which I don't suggest, you can do a lot with it. Because it might give you tentacle spots, which are very useful. But even more useful, they might give you a tentacle spike. And a tentacle spike can be used for a weapon. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a weapon, the tentacle spike, and it's an upgrade from the spear. It's not the best weapon, but it's a really good weapon for the early game if you want a, a good weapon. Uh, so you see here, these are pig heads. So these pig heads, you can hammer them down uh, for pig skin. So if you uh, want pig skin, which is good for armor, you can hammer those down with a hammer. That's right here. You need three rocks for it. You can use that. You can hammer them down. They're going to give you, I think, two pig skin. And you can make uh, armor with it. If you don't want to make armor with it, you can keep it. And you can make later on a pig house. Which will spawn pigs will, will, that will la allow you to get a meat source and a pig uh, skin source. So you're going to want to make like a pig uh, house at your uh, base. And so what you want to do is be careful because you want to have at least a couple pig houses in your... Um, a couple pig houses in your base later on so try not to use all of it on uh, hats right away because hats you can find it in the weapon section okay well we were just found here this is going to make the world rain which is not the best idea for wx78 but i'm still going to use it 
but also it's gonna make your food go bad sometimes. So you have to just be careful. So I just put my food on the ground. I opened this. You see, it was haunted. So it, it didn't start to rain, but my food would have been bad. So that's why I took it out. So these are all um, blueprints. Usually you want to keep them for when you go crazy, but I'm just gonna use them right away because I was going a little crazy already. And what did that do? Well, blueprints, it's what allows you to uh, blueprint like items. So you see here, like these items, I can't build them because I didn't build them at least one time next to the, the machine. So by having a blueprint, well, you allow yourself to like, it's like if you already build the item. What did we discover with the blueprint? We discovered, um, what did we discover? We discovered the rabbit hutch. Uh, so now instead of having to go next to an alchemy engine and having the right resources to build it so that I can later on build it whenever I want, I can now just build it whenever I want. If I have the resources, I can build it right away. I don't have to be right away next to an alchemy engine or a science machine. And for science and alchemy engines, science machine is the best, uh, it's the first basic machine. And then you can upgrade it to an alchemy engine. Once you have the alchemy engine, you can then uh, destroy your science machine. Okay, I'm a little low on food, but I'm not panicking. Uh, we're in a good zone for food right here. You can see there's a lot of bees, but there's also some berry bushes that we can collect. And in the day, there's a lot of butterflies. So these are killer bee nests. These killer bees, the minute you go too close to them, they're going to pop out and try to kill you. So you have to really be careful. Uh, these normal bees, if you go next to them, they won't hurt you. The only time they'll attack you is if you attack their nest or a bee belonging to that nest. Oh, so we found another wormhole. We're going to use that to try to find out where this leads. So uh, I didn't really explain to you guys earlier. This bush hat I found earlier uh, on the ground, you can use it to hide. But if the mob is already aggro on you, they'll know you're hiding. So be careful. So if there's a hound wave, like I said, on day 11, day 10 or whatever, on day 7, 8, if you click on your bush hat, you can hide from the hounds, but be careful. Every time your character says the hounds are coming, you have to re-click on the bush hat. So that's a strategy some new players use to hide from the hounds. Green mushrooms. There's three types of mushrooms in this game. There is uh, green, red, and blue. Uh, what you want to do is that green caps, you want to cook them for sanity. Blue ones, you want to eat them raw for health. And red ones, you just want to use them in the crock pot. And the crock pot will use it later. That's what you can make dishes and make better food for yourself. Okay, so we used the red portal. It teleported us all the way across the map. So that's a huge, 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 really great portal. If we ever want to just cross the map in one shot. So now I'm just going to explore, like I said, the coastline. We're going to eat the seed. And eat these berries. Well, everything's pretty, going pretty well. Uh, we got uh, nice resources. We got some basics. Now we're just missing gold, honestly. We're missing gold and rocks, and I haven't found the rock biome yet, so I'm going to try to hurry up. Uh, this is the pig house that I was talking about earlier. So yeah, I just need to find um, a uh, rock biome, or just rocks in general. I haven't found much rocks or gold, except at the desert. And there we go. I have two stacks of sticks, so that's pretty good for a while now. I'll be good for a while. Because when you're going to be building your base, you're going to be using a lot of these basic resources, more than usually you expect. So that's why I, ha I love having a big quantity of them. But if, like I said, if you know you like to collect a lot of different stuff, uh, I would suggest going only one stack of each. Oh, nighttime again. So you want to get out your torch? You're probably going to have to build another one because you see 30% is not going to be enough for the night. But I don't want to build another one, and I have green caps, so I'm just going to use this old strategy of using the map. Map you can use, uh, you can click on M or you can click on that corner map if you want to know where you're going at night. But you want to be careful. In normal, don't starve. When you click on the map, it pauses. But in don't starve together, it does not pause. So be very careful of what you do. Oh boy, spiders! Spiders, spiders, spiders! No, 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 no! Don't hurt me, spiders! Don't, don't do this to me! Oh boy, my light, my light, my light, my light! Okay, I'm good. Oh, this is a blue cap. So blue caps only arrive in nighttime, which is this dark blue. Green caps only arrive in this dusk, which is like this reddish, uh, dark reddish color. And 
the red mushrooms only come out when it's um, daytime. Uh, uh, these are animal tracks, we'll speak about that later. Okay, so this is beefaloes, we found beefaloes. Um, usually when you're a new player, you're going to want to be next to these things because uh, you're going to be using improved farms, which is good. But most pro players won't use improved farms because they say it's dog shit. But I'm going to still use farms to show you guys what you guys can do with it because it takes a lot of resources. But for new players that really don't know how to fight and that just want good food income, well, you can use this poop to make farms. So that's why you want to be close to these animals, these beefaloes, is because they're going to be shitting this poop so that you can collect it and uh, have manure for your farms. And there's quite a lot in my world. Um, usually there's, uh, there's just, there can be a, just two of them or there can be like uh, 20 of them. It really depends. And usually a herd is only five beefaloes. So this that's a couple of herds. Um, now... Um, what is special about this is that uh, beefaloes can only be found in this big savanna biome. See here, there's a small one here. This is the big one. So that's why we found them. What else you can find in this biome? You can find a couple set pieces like I spoke of earlier. Which uh, you can find like a couple set pieces. You can find rabbits. Like you can, you can uh, catch them. And you can also find grass. Wait, it's already day four? Okay, well, I'll, I'll stop the video here and I'll see you guys uh, probably tomorrow. I'll make another Don't Star video. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed this video, like I said, leave a like, comment if you have any questions or you like you like my con my content, and also um, subscribe if you want to see more of this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.